If you're a beginner to 2D game art, one of the first questions you will be faced with is whether to do pixel art or hand-drawn art. And if you really like the look of pixel art, then pixel art is the obvious choice. But if you plan on going for pixel art because it's easier, they might actually be making a mistake. Now, if we look at games like Hoa or Rayman, those games are probably quite tricky to draw. And you'd be right to think that going for a style like Haiku would probably be easier. But what about if we, instead of looking at Hoa, we look at my style? And instead of comparing it to Haiku, we compare my style to Dead Cells? Well, now the answer is flipped. My style is clearly easier to draw than Dead Cells, even though Dead Cells is pixel art. Just because something is pixel art, it doesn't automatically make it easy. Pixel art is just one aspect of your art style. You could do one bit pixel art, you could have a lower resolution, such as Celeste, or a high resolution, such as Iconoclast, and then you'll also get a slightly different look if your pixel art is also restricted to a tile map. And if you go all out with a high resolution and quite a realistic style, you get games like Blasphemous. So depending on the rest of your stylistic choices, pixel art could either be fairly easy and simple to make, or incredibly difficult. One reason a lot of beginners can get quite decent results with pixel art but not with hand-drawn art is that they look up the tutorials for pixel art and what they're taught is to focus on the basic shapes and having a good and simple color palette. And if you make a mistake, you immediately know it's because you failed with the shapes or the color palette. So you constantly get to practice fixing those two skills. Whereas when you do hand-drawn art, well you get to make so many choices that you don't really know if the issue is the shape, the line art, or that you just suck at shading. The reason pixel art often gets decent results faster is because it's incredibly punishing and it forces you to practice those two skills. Skills. This is why I so often talk about limiting your style when doing hand-drawn art. Because if you artificially create the same environment that the beginner pixel artist has, they can also get quite decent results with hand-drawn. But okay, a simple pixel art style would obviously still be easier than hand-drawn right? Well not necessarily. Let's look at this scene that I made a while back. This scene is obviously complex. We have lots of tiny details like these bugs running around. But what if we strip away all the details? Then at its core we kind of have this. And if we look at this style, while this style is hand-drawn, it's actually very similar to simple pixel art. If we change our resolution to 320 by 180 and then we take all the assets and divide the resolution by 6 and we fix up the line art a bit, then we get this scene. This kind of looks like I intended to make pixel art all along, even though I didn't. So hopefully now you can see what I mean when I say that pixel art isn't entirely just a style. It's very much true that there are lots of similarities between pixel art games, but that kind of makes sense. If we're limited to a resolution of 320 by 180, then we really can't make details, and we have to focus on the big picture elements. And if we do that, then the style looks simple and easier to make. But we don't have to draw pixel art to skip making details. We can just skip making details. But still, why do I say that hand drawn is easier? Well, if we look at this scene, we can see one thing that doesn't quite work. This demon character looks a bit off. Why is that? Well, this demon happens to be slightly more complex and detailed than what you can make in 320 by 180. So instead of this demon character, we might have to use the mushroom character instead, which is slightly more simple and kind of works. And this is really the issue with pixel art and why it's actually more difficult than you might think. When I do hand-drawn art, I can keep it relatively simple, but if I make some details here and there, then it still kind of works. But if you make a low bit pixel art game and you try to make details, it can easily make your game look like an absolute mess. And it's extremely punishing. If even one pixel looks off, it can make your entire scene look off. But perhaps you're thinking that you can't even draw a line, and with pixel art you don't really have to draw lines, you just have to place a few pixels. Well you don't really need to have that issue with hand-drawn art either. Look back at this scene. If we zoom in and look at it, we can see that you could do this style without being able to draw a line. When I drew this scene, I used a feature in Procreate that straightens my lines for me. So it didn't really matter if my lines were wobbly, Procreate fixed that. So if you draw in Krita or Affinity, you could technically make all your art using the line tool. Or use something like line stabilizers, which exist in most drawing software. I personally use these smoothing tools in Procreate a lot. Thinking that pixel art suddenly becomes easy because you don't have to draw a line is in my opinion a mistake. This scene actually became quite tricky to replicate because it's actually quite difficult to make these diagonal or organic lines without making it look off. Because you have so little space to play with, each individual choice becomes much more important. It might in some sense feel faster to make simple pixel art because you'll have to fill a canvas of 320 by 180 compared to HD graphics, but it's not like you're drawing each individual pixel anyway. I just draw my line art and fill the shape with the bucket tool, but here I can actually make an error and you probably wouldn't even notice it. But okay, so this tiny resolution might be tricky to get right, but what if you do high bit pixel art instead? So you go for 640 by 360, twice as big. Now you have much more room for mistakes, but you still don't have to draw that much. So it should be easier, right? Well, not really. You see, if you look at most of my scenes, it's slightly more complex than this style. The demon character looks a bit off as low bit, quite decent as high bit. But it's still a relatively simple style with very little shading and not so many details. But if we turn this scene into 640x360 pixel art, we can see that what kind of looked clean and decent now looks quite terrible. The lines don't look clean and it doesn't really feel like pixel art. It just feels like a low resolution drawing. 
For a lot of people, the idea of pixel art is a collection of a few stylistic choices. And if you only change our resolution, you can technically see each individual pixel, but it doesn't really feel like pixel art. Some aspects that people associate with pixel art are really nostalgia for early game art. And back then you didn't just have restrictions on resolution, but also color restrictions. So if you look at some modern games that emulate older game art quite well, like Downwell, this game has a restricted color palette with only two colors, or one bit pixel art. And we can see here that if you can only use two colors, but still want to display shadows, you would solve it by adding dithering. So alternate black and white, and now from afar it kind of looks gray. So even though we only have two colors, we can kind of pretend we have three colors. And if you alternate dithering techniques, you can actually get even more shades. And because something like dithering was common due to graphical limitations, it also kind of started to feel like pixel art. So one thing I could do to make this terrible hybrid scene feel and look better could be to add a lot of dithering. So let's do that. So we adjust the line art color to be slightly less harsh, and we can add this quite strong dither to indicate shadows. And maybe we can even do a slightly less harsh dither as well. And we probably have to adjust these really white assets that look terrible as pixel art. We can make them slightly bluer and add some dither, and then we just do this to all assets. And now if we look at the scene, it kind of looks a bit more like pixel art. Still not perfect, but I guess it kind of works. And obviously we faked it here. There's no reason to use dithering, it just made it look a bit better as pixel art. But hopefully you recognize something with this. The original scene was simple and looked good when hand-drawn, but looked terrible when converted to pixel art. And we need to add shading and a lot of work to the lines in order to make the scene look decent. And if you still think it looks terrible, it's kind of making my point. This isn't easy and it takes time. If I genuinely wanted to make this type of pixel art style, it would actually be more difficult and time consuming to make. But the difficulty doesn't even stop there. I made this original scene to discuss readability, so this scene has an incredibly messy background. Since we're working with HD graphics, I can actually blur a lot of it and now it looks significantly less annoying. But for this pixel art version, we can't really blur it without making it look bad. So we need to stage this scene significantly better in order for it to not look cluttered. We can obviously still rely on some atmospheric perspective, but we still need to make sure to stage our scene better when making our pixel art scene compared to our normal scene. Ideally we should make sure to stage our scene well, even if we do hand-drawn art. But once again, with hand-drawn art, we can kind of get away with not doing things perfectly. It's more forgiving. So when we went from 320 by 180 resolution to 640 by 360 it became slightly easier to make diagonal and organic lines, but it didn't really become easier overall. In general, making a 640x360 resolution look decent can be extremely difficult. If you look at a game like Dead Cells, the characters look pixelated, but the background barely looks pixelated at all. This style is incredibly difficult to pull off. Same goes for Blasphemous. If you compare simple pixel art with complex hand-drawn, then obviously pixel art would be easier. But if you compare apples to apples and actually compare a simple style like Super Meat Boy with a simple style like Celeste, then I think that having that high resolution will make it more forgiving and easier to make. And if you're a pixel art snob and want your game to be limited to 8-bit depth or you want it to be pixel perfect, then that doesn't make it easier. With that added restriction, it can quite easily become more difficult for you to make the art look decent. For instance, in my normal art, I can just make some simple textures and add some nice particles to my scene. And for the simple scene, I can make a really tiny square and get some particle effects. But I'm also kind of limited to just this texture. Same for this hybrid scene. If I add some soft particles like these ones to the scene, it kind of starts to look a bit off. So now I need to make some particles that really feel like pixel art, once again added difficulty. But perhaps I just artificially made this difficult for myself when I chose the resolutions 360x180 and 640x360. Why did I only pick those resolutions? Well, because there aren't that many resolutions that scale well with 720, 1080 and 4K monitors. Which is quite important if you want your game to be played on a computer or the Switch. And I want to add here that we also often associate pixel art with tile maps. Even if I use a tile map beneath my game art, I rarely restrict my art to a tile map. But you can still do that. I've done it here. Or we can look at Super Meat Boy. It sticks fairly close to a tile map for almost all its art. But making a tile map game look good is once again not easy. The reason my art doesn't look tile map even though I do use a tile map is because it can be quite difficult to make it look good. But if you want to do it, you can do it for hand-drawn art as well. And granted, it's not like there aren't downsides to hand-drawn art. There are. One of the biggest things you need to think a lot about when doing hand-drawn art is probably performance, but those can be handled with some time and effort. And you'll have technical issues with pixel art as well, even if they aren't necessarily performance related. But if we're strictly comparing the time spent drawing, I actually doubt most pixel art would be quicker to do than my style. If we look at this huge scene that I covered in another video, I spent on average around 15 minutes on asset. If it did actually take me 3 hours per asset to do hand on art and only 10 minutes to do pixel art, then pixel art would probably be worth considering. But as it stands, it's not like it really matters. It would be a relatively negligible improvement in the grand scheme of things. 
So my main point with this video isn't to say that you should avoid pixel art. And if you've already done pixel art for a while, you'll probably find it easier to make than hand-drawn art. But just because something is pixel art, it doesn't immediately make it easy or quick to do. Pixel art is significantly more difficult for me to make than hand-drawn. And that might be the case for you too. Thanks for watching. Bye.